Hi guys, I have a fairly substantial haul that I would like to share with you all. So if you're interested, just keep watching. Hi guys, it's Tasha. If you're new to my channel, welcome to the crib. For my returning positive supporters and subscribers, welcome back. Come on in and get comfortable. First and foremost, I got some mints in my mouth to try to help control me and my coughing with these allergies. So now that we got that out of the way, over the course of about a week and a half, I've accumulated some items from several different places. They are the Goodwill, Amazon, Camden Gray, Tuesday morning and Dollar Tree. I put a legend or a timestamp in the description box below for your convenience, okay? So if you can, <clears throat> excuse me, you can skip around to whatever parts you want to see, okay? So, but first up is going to be Goodwill. And the stuff that you see in front of you right here, and this right here, it's all from Goodwill. Um, when I go to Goodwill, I always peruse through the mugs and things first glassware and I came across these and I thought they were just really really pretty they looked like um something was on them oh it is that's the 99 cent that's how much I paid for 99 cent for each one and I looked at the name on the bottom I asked my daughter I said go ahead on and look this name up and see if you see anything um if anybody's selling them so she found them on I think eBay and somebody was selling them for like six bucks a piece uh, and that was the main reason why I picked them up because I don't really want any more or I most definitely don't need any but I'm gonna see if I can sell these on eBay I said I only paid 99 cent for them each so I may be able to sell them if they go quickly enough I may keep a lookout keep on the lookout for more mugs but if not um, I probably won't do that again this one is a Sango one as well I just have this one so lighter color uh, ivory color with the gradient here and then you have the darker color on the rim and it's dark on the inside did I show you the inside of the, the blue one <coughs> excuse me this is one of the blue ones the 99 cent and it's, of course it's blue here it's dark rim up here and then if you see on the inside you have the blue gradient that's going down and I thought these were from the same designer or the same company but these are not These, this one is Gordon Elite and this one I actually may keep because I really do like it it has this is wavy it's not just you know flat it has a wave pattern to it and also on the the handle too I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not but the handle has a wave pattern to it as well and like I said I thought these were the same brand but they're not these actually are selling for about ten dollars a piece but depending on I may put them out there one week and if they don't sell I'll probably keep them this one I just got because I thought it was funny and maybe somebody that golfs might like it. So I picked that one up. And since this is coming up, this is a huge, huge mug. Look at the difference. Okay. This one is for Virgo, August the 23rd through to September the 22nd. And it has the Virgo information on the back here. And this one I will put out on eBay and see uh, what what I can get for it. It was a dollar and ninety one cents, so I will start the bidding at two bucks for this one, with maybe five dollars shipping. Who knows? I got this spoon, and they're gonna say, Tasha, why in the world did you get a wooden spoon at the thrift store? Well, it's to use with my crock pot. And what am I gonna do with the crock pot? Make the hot process soap that I was telling you guys about earlier. Let me see if I can bring this up a little bit closer here. There we go. And I paid five I was at five ninety five I think. I paid five ninety five for this. As far as I know it wasn't it wasn't the right color to get the half off but I don't know. I really didn't pay attention to that. But I I got this crock pot 
and I got the top which was separate and this wooden spoon specifically for hot processed soap okay so I think that is all the things that I got from Goodwill okay next up is Camden Gray and Camden Gray is a place where you can get stuff to make like this soaps bath bombs tub teas you can get like your raw materials like flower petals dried flower petals you can get essential oils and fragrant oils and uh, molds all that stuff I'll put a link for it in the description box below this is what I got from Camden Gray I got a five pound bag of citric acid and there's a this is going to be used for my bath bombs I got two pounds of cocoa butter now this is natural cocoa butter that still has the chocolate scent to it I absolutely love that chocolate scent that's why I don't get the deodorized kind excuse me if I got the deodorized kind it would be for something totally different maybe maybe a tub truffle but I love the chocolate scent in this so I won't ever change at least not now anyway I got these tea bags and these are I think they're three by five and these are for the tub teas that I'm going to show you guys as well and I got some jojoba oil and as we all know jojoba oil is the closest uh, oil from a plant to actual human sebum the one that we create or we produce naturally and so I always like to keep some jojoba oil on deck I used to keep uh, shea oil on deck as well but actually they were out because that's what I was looking for the shea oil but they didn't have the oil that said they had shea butter but not the shea oil and I prefer the shea oil so these are the items that I got from Camden Gray next up is Tuesday morning now I only picked up a few items from Tuesday morning this I had picked up but it's been a while ago but I just brought it out to show you that I had gotten these cut aparts or cutouts or I can't even think of the name right now uh, ephemera for this stack and I'm going to be using this for the craft fair at the end of the year I had one of these earlier that I used up so I just went and bought me another one I got these mermaids. I just keep seeing people people making mermaid themed things. So I picked it up just to give it a try. And the last two items were something that I don't normally buy a lot of. And that is salt. And I really want to say this is sea salt. I, I don't know to be totally honest. But it's smoked salt. M me and my son and, the, the, uh, and my, my uh, BFF are going on the keto diet even though you're not supposed to you know have a lot of salt but you're supposed to have some salt because me personally I really don't even cook with salt like that but I bought these salts I got a smoked mesquite and a smoked pecan so I'm going to try these and if it's left up to me these things will probably last me almost the rest of my life so and and um you guys uh, wish us luck on this keto diet or keto or whatever it is wish us luck on this thing because uh, yeah your, your girl need to drop about 70 80 pounds okay so these are the things I got from Tuesday morning next are these items I picked these things up from Amazon and they are some crafty stuff and there's some things to help me with my keto diet uh, first is this. This is eyelets. Oh, these are eyelets. A tray of eyelets. A different color eyelets. And it even has the setter in there. Let me see if I can open this up so you guys can see a little bit better. So we have different color eyelets. The data mixed in. There are some, some silver ones there. And what color is that? That looks more like an orangey color right there. Then there's black, and there's green ones. I need to lower it some. There we go. And we have red, yellow, blue, 
a darker blue, a lighter blue, purple, and silver. And I got those just in case um, I do something and I think that a colored uh, eyelet would work better. And it also comes with the eyelet setter. I really don't know how to use these, but I'm, I'm going to give it a try. And I, it comes with instructions, so we'll see how that's going to work out. Put this back in here. And I also picked up some gold eyelets. Remember when I did the purse with the the memo pad? That's not the memo pad. It was the sticky note pad. And it, I made it like a purse. And I said, oh, that would be cute if I could put the chain on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these eyelets to put a hole in it. I got some jump rings, some gold jump rings, and I'm gonna put the gold jump rings in, jump rings in, and then use the gold chain to make it like a purse. So that's why I got these. I got more of these things. I'm gonna put these with the traveler's notebooks that I'm gonna be making for the craft fair again. I'm not gonna make that many though. Because they didn't really sell last time. But I'm going to make more fun ones this time. And you can see th this is a sticky back. And the loop is right there. So you can put it anywhere on your traveler's notebook if you want to. So I'll have those. And the last thing. Oh, it's not the last thing. And this is what I got too. If I can open this without too, too much. Okay. These are, I think I call it quilling. These are qu a quilling tool. And I got these to help me roll up the paper tassels. Because I do have a, a die. And look at this got hair all stuck in it. And it's fairly small. And I'm like, I don't know if I can twirl that with my finger. So I went on and got this quilling to help that. But I also saw somebody use, can I find it really quick without taking a whole lot of time? Probably not, and the, probably the answer is no. But I have a smaller pair of these with a more pointed end, and they actually use that to start their rolling of their, what's the thing called again? Of their tassel. Okay. So I got this thing. This is from Wilson. Or manufactured by a company called Wilson. And this is like the muffin top uh, pan. It says 12 cavity muffin top. 10 year guarantee, dishwasher save, all that good stuff. So what I got, why I picked this up was because I saw a young lady make almond flour biscuits using one of these and I kind of liked her recipe so that's what I'm going to use for this because you know on a well you may not know but on a keto keto diet you're really not supposed to eat bread like traditional bread so but almond flour bread is supposed to be okay like almond flour biscuits almond flour uh, pancakes, almond. You can use almond flour to coat your chicken or whatever you would for frying. So that's why I got this. So I'm gonna try that, and my, let me go back here first. I picked this up as well. This is strictly for the soap making process. This is a stick blender. And when I used to make soap back in the day, I had one of these. You used to could get these all day at the thrift store. But, of course, I went looking for one. They didn't have one. So, I went on and ordered it. I think it was like $13. It had been discontinued or whatever. And hopefully, it works. So it works okay. It's new. So, I went on and got that. Nobody can make soap without lye. If you're making real soap, you have to have lye. So, I got this from Amazon. It's called California. It's from California soap supply. This is high quality lye, pure lye. So this is something you do not want to leave around for the kids to get into, none of that. So I got this because I do love making my hot process soap. Okay, and this thing right here is 
Let me see if that I got two things in here. Let's see what we got first. Let's see what's in this other bag. Because this bag was in there as well. Oh, okay. I actually forgot about this one. Because I try to keep all this stuff together so I can show you guys when I'm when I'm showing it. Uh, I won't forget to show it to you, so I try to keep everything together since I don't do the videos right away. But I got this die, this thinless, the Sizzix Thinless die, Lori Whitlock. And it's this bag topper. This is the big one. I got the little one, but I've always wanted the big one. And there the dies are. And it comes with the layering pieces too. So I've been wanting this for a while. It's probably been in my cart for a couple of years on Amazon. So I went on and got it, and I'm... I'm actually loving it already. I haven't even used it. But I've always, always, always wanted this die. So I finally picked it up. And I needed these plates, these long plates for my Vintage. And of course, you guys may or may not know they don't sell the, the Vintage anymore. It's been discontinued. But I need these long plates because I do have a couple of longer dies. So this is going to be the answer for me. At least I hope it will be anyway. So I'm trying to think. I think that is all that came from Amazon. And we got one more store coming up, which will be Dollar Tree. These are the final items here. And all of this stuff came from Dollar Tree. At least I hope that's it. That's the truth. Now I picked this up because it is so pretty to me. All the bright vibrant colors i want to use this in my planner at least try to use this in my big happy planner i just think it's just too cute see did you see the parrot or whatever i say is a parrot it might be something else but there he is the bird with these beautiful beautiful flowers i think it's just too cute so i want to try to use that in my planner i picked up five of these sticky note pads because I'm only going to make like I said a few of the the purses that holds the sticky notes so I'm going to use these and try to coordinate the the paper the design paper to make the purses for the craft fair I got this and what is it? this is floor wire and I actually got floor tape somewhere and it's also for a throwback Thursday video now this is what got me okay this says labels and it's 60 labels even though it's the same design like this one sheet I'm like really and these are kind of cute and, and this can go with a lot of different themes so if you guys see these pick these up especially if you want them to go into your planners I picked up some correction fluid yeah I wanted the fluid I got the correction tape somewhere up here on this desk but I wanted to get the correction fluid I got these two bowls these two bowls are going to help with a couple of throwback Thursday episodes if I don't break them get these in here and last but certainly not least are these things I'm hoping that they're gonna hold up okay I have to see that's why I only got four I got these because I want to do like a kit and the kit will be like a December daily so that's why I got these I'm a the plan is to do about four kits, four December daily kits to sell at the craft fair. And I'm trying to think, I know there's, there's a slight difference because if you notice, this packaging has like this bluish gray up here and then these are just regular white packaging. So let's open this one up and see what we got going on. Okay, let me see. They both feel kind of the same. Actually, no. Wait a minute. This one right here feels thicker. So the white one, it feels it, it feels more stiff. I don't. You ain't gonna be able to see it. But it doesn't bend as easy. If I do this, it doesn't bend. See how? And I'm using the same force as I'm trying to. And it just this one just folds all up. This one just like okay, hold on, give me a minute. So let's see. This one comes in from the top. 
this one loads from the side. So this one is side loading. I'm not going to do anything to try and tear it up. And this one is top loaded. Okay. But they both are 48 pages, correct? Uh, yeah, 48 pockets fits 4x6. 48 holes, 48 4x6 photos. Yeah. So. Okay. But well, looks like that's the major difference is this cover right here. This cover, the cover on this one is very, it's not as sturdy as the cover on this one. So. Let me let me just double check real quick. Yeah, that's a difference. So if you see these, if you have a choice, I suggest you choose the ones with the white label on top here. I would suggest you to choose this one first. Not to say this one is not a good choice, but as far as the covers this one is the better choice because the covers are more sturdy and then if you have this one if that's the only one you see and if you're trying to do some something along the same lines i suggest you get that okay so i think that's it for the haul video let me check to make sure and it's a good thing i checked because da da da, da last but certainly not least I picked up some things from Oso Paper, and this is my planner sticker keeper book. And it came, I got it free because I ordered, I think it was $20 in stickers or something like that. And here are my stickers. Isn't she, cute? Isn't she the cutest thing? Her and the Afro Puffs, Puffs looking like one of my grandbabies. And these Kirby sisters right here, yeah, they got stick going on. Please believe it. But let's look and see what stickers, because I really don't even remember the stickers that I got. And I guess I would highly recommend that you um, go to her shop, because this is not the first time I've ordered from her. I've ordered, I can't think of the name of the character, but I got all these characters and like one of them is cooking, one of them is doing a hair, was washing her hair. One is, I think, planning and one is shopping, that type of deal. I think I got about 10 at the time, and they were all digital, so I can use those sisters anytime I get ready. As a matter of fact, I used one in my planner not too long ago. If I remember, if I could find it, I'll let you guys see which one I'm talking about. So I got the, I'm assuming I got these girls, and she, they actually may be um, a gift. But look at the sisters. Aren't they cute? And look at this hair. I just love that hair. Look at there. So I got two of those. There they are. So I have two of those. And who's this one? This is Many Friends Drink More Water, which I need which I am going to need to do on the keto or keto diet. This one is Friends measurements, which I'm going to need to keep up with that as well. Because I need to drop, like I say, these 70 pounds, probably, maybe even 80. This is Mythical Minis. Was it Mimis? M-I-N-I-S. Mini, I guess. Whatever. This is that one. Maybe Minis. There we go. And here's one that says many this is many many friends deadlift. Alright girl, she better deadlift that barbells. With the weights or whatever you want to call it. She better do her deadlifts. And this is at work. She had a laptop. Yeah, I know all we all be on our laptops doing stuff all the time. And this one is Step Count. And I just re-downloaded my pedometer. So I may I may draw or may write the steps in. Or I may just 
make a pit do the picture you know do the screenshot and then just print it out and what are these this is the the mini squad here the ladies are and here is the spring fever squad here's the here's the mini shush for a minute here's the mini a uh, squad for spring and last but certainly not least here are the mini quotes I'll, I'll put it, will you please be quiet I'll put it up so you can kind of read those you might have to stop the the video to read it but there they are okay now that is it for real guys I want to thank you for taking so much time out of your day to watch my video. If you haven't, I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, at least until he got here. All your comments are truly appreciated. Come back anytime and I will see you all in my next video. Bye bye, love bugs.